Hi there. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good, good. How was your weekend? Uh huh. How was your weekend? What do you do? Anything interesting? No, just only taking a rest, taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that is important. It's, it's good to have a rest. Pretty nice. And you guys? What do you do during the weekend? Uh huh. Nelson, how do you feel? Are you better now? Good evening, teacher. Do you feel yes, better? Yes, I feel better. Yes, I feel better. That's great. Yesterday, I, I felt a little, but today I feel better. Thank you for asking. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. All right. And let's see who's there. How are you guys? Thank you. Who else? Who else? How are you today? I can see Fatima. Hello, Fatima. How are you? I am fine, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, I just see a movies in my home. <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. But that's great. What movie did you watch? Anything interesting? I see Netflix. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's see who else. Holman, how about you? How are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? I'm fine. And how was your weekend? It was okay. <laughs> pretty good. And the platform? Uh, so, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> Did you work on the platform a little bit? Yes, uh, yes. Excellent. All all That's... All right, okay. So guys, don't forget the platform, please. All right. Uh, well, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for the ones who has the camera on. That's excellent. So talking about the platform, I can see uh, some people are finishing the unit number three. So that's great. For the one who hasn't finished unit number one and two, please try to advance, okay? I don't want you to leave the platform for the last minute. Okay, it's better if you work little by little, then do it, it everything in one just in one night, right? So today basically we are starting the week number four. So remember week four, unit three. The next week basically will be the last one. Okay, remember this level is just five weeks. So we don't have a lot of time, everybody. Be careful with the platform, all right? Now, we are going to start the unit number three. Let me start sharing uh, the presentation. Okay, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes? excellent. Okay, so today is June 5th. And as I said, this is the week number four. We are going to start the unit number three, okay? And the topic that we are going to discuss today is describe the fundamentals of warehouse management, okay? We are going to see the different types of management. We are going to see what are those type of managers uh, um, about. And we are going to discuss uh, some vocabulary. Now, this is our class objective. So I need a volunteer, please, uh, please for reading. 
Could I, teacher? Yes, please. Describe the fundamentals, fundamentals of warehouse management. Class objective. Participants will be able to provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehousing processes. Thank you. So that is what we are going to be talking about. Before that, let's see some vocabulary, okay? First, let's talk about warehouse management. In order to talk about that, let's find out the meaning of these words. I don't want translation. I want you to try to explain with your own words the meaning of these expressions. Imagine if I say inventory with your own words. What do you think? What is the meaning of that? Inventory. In my opinion, teacher, inventory is the number of, of, of every one of the items into the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Anyone else? Do you have any other idea about what inventory is? Uh -huh. So basically inventory, guys, is all that register that we can have in everything, in a warehouse, in stores, in everywhere, in every company, we can have an inventory, right? Is the register about all the goods that we have, okay? How about the next one? Stock. What do you think? What is a stock? Featuring my own word, word uh, stock are the, the physical things that I have um, that I have in the world. The physical, the physical things that exist in my warehouse. And basically that's it, right? All door merchandise, baby, uh, maybe that we have. And for example, that are available for selling, are ready to distribute, okay? All the merchandise that we have in this scenario in the warehouse. Now, out of the season, Hmm, what would it be? Out of season. Any idea, everyone? It comes to my mind when some product is uh, in decline, is out of the season because ah. I I have two ideas actually. One one of them is that the second one is. After the season, for example, after after Christmas or after other one of the holidays. Ah, uh, could be. Do you agree, everyone? Or do you have any other example? What do you think? Out of season. Yes, I agree with Magdalena. Mm -hmm. okay. It's when the season is spiral and you have to out, out of the market, maybe, or for example, uh, summer season, holidays, Christmas <laughs> season, or, or... All of them, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, after Mother's Independence Day, all of those, right? Easter, <laughs> Easter Day. Easter yes, day or week. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh -huh, Magdalena, tell us. I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. It's related to season, actually. I don't remember. You, you said, you told, you told to us, no, told us uh, the name of the season, season but I don't remember. Uh -huh, season. And Yes, for Holy Week, you said one just one word. I don't remember. Esther. Esther. Yes. Thank you. Is that? 
Okay. And basically, yeah, that's the meaning for that. All right. Now, restock. So we got stock that is right here in the number two. What happens if I add a re? Restore, restock. Hmm, what is that? Restock. In my opinion, is when you have to to uh, to put another price or or repackaging that the stock you you have in your warehouse and you need to sell uh, because uh, it's coming soon expiring or something like that. You have to restock the stock that you have because you you need to to evaluate different costs, maybe uh, the price, new price, or something like that. I, I understand that restock, that. Okay. Sure. Hmm. What about you guys? Do you agree with her? In my opinion, if stock is the, the product that exists in your store, restock is when you're, when you're stuck. Finish <laughs> when you, you restock. Restock. <laughs> restock is when you restock. Ah, <laughs> stock is the merchandise, the goods, the product. What happens if I sell? Imagine that I have a supermarket, okay, and everybody buys um the toilet paper. Like during the pandemic. Do you remember everybody buying the toilet paper? Yes, I remember. So the toilet paper is over. It ran out. What do I need to do? Restock. I need to restock. I need to buy more to put more toilet paper in my supermarket. So basically, that is the meaning of restock. I don't have more product. I need to bring more. Got it? Yes? Yeah, got it. Okay. Everybody, pay attention to the vocabulary. We are going to use it. Then we have rotten. Hmm, what do you think? What is that? Not the translation, the meaning. Rotten teacher, I understand that is, but um, the 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 first in first out. Maybe uh, when you have an inventory or a stock in your warehouse, or for example the 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 food, you have to first in for yourself, for example, or for uh, I I understand rotten is when you rot rotate. You have to rotate your product. Um. Or mm. not. <laughs> Rot okay. Rotten. I understand rotten that the that rotation, but I'm not sure. Maybe um okay. How about you guys? What do you think? What is the meaning of rotten? Rotten is when something for for it expired, for example, don't you you can't eat that. And that is the one. Imagine that you have a mango, okay? The mango is perfect. If you don't eat the mango in two weeks, what is going to happen to that mango? Hmm. The expiration Worms date? Inside, Peter. Hector, I'm sorry? Worms inside. <laughs> yes, you will have, you will have pro protein in, in that mango. How to say hongo, right? teacher? Fungus. Fungo, uh huh. Fungus, yes. Fungus, uh huh. Worms exactly. or fungus inside <laughs> inside the product. And the point I think is for mm -hmm. natural natural product. Exactly, and actually, this happened for everything. Right after the expiration date, it becomes rotten. Okay, that sure. means okay. you cannot consume it anymore. Yes, the product that is perecederos. I couldn't hear you. What do you say? 
the product when it's perecedero? Oh, perishable. Perishable, sorry. Yes. Okay. Sometimes what happens, Mirna, sometimes your microphone sounds very low and sometimes it sounds normal. I, I don't know what happens. Yeah, I have a trouble with my headphones. But uh, I want to try to to fix it but yes it's, I have a problem with my headphone yeah I'm sorry <laughs> okay that's why sometimes I cannot hear you very well <laughs> all right uh, perishable sorry it's missing a letter h yeah so this is related to this right when the product is we have some expiration dates that means that the product is perishable yes Magdalena do you have a question I cannot hear you. Yes, teacher, excuse me for my microphone. Okay, uh, my question is, rotten, rotten, uh, is, is correct the pronunciation? Yeah. Rotten, if, is when, when, when things is expired, for example, is done good for, for it, et cetera, something like that. Mm -hmm. In some enterprises, have a warehouse named um, Averias in Spanish. In English, I don't know what is the name. That is the uh, question. Averias. Averias. Mm, okay, let me check because honestly, I don't know. If you say Averias. Averia is when, when, when um, the enterprise, in my case, uh -huh. You know, you know that I work. I worked for a, a distributor of different products, and then when some things have damaged, ah. have damage for the transportation or for bad handle, Be they sure. sell to the employees. They sell to employ. No, they sell to employees. In averías. Teacher, and it's not breakdown. Well, it depends because according to some definition, when you say averías, if it is talking about something that is not working pretty well, I mean, I'm talking about faults. Son como unas averías, es decir, unas pequeñas grietas que se forman en algo. Eso podría ser una averilla. But that is if you are talking about something that is not working anymore, right? So, for example, in my house, yo tengo una cañería, esa cañería se me rajó. ¿Qué tiene esa cañería? Tiene unas averillas. But okay. in that case, I will use the word fault. But... I'm not sure if that's the context that you are talking about. That is that. Is that if, is that? Uh, if a box, if a box of, of milk, for example. Ah, uh, uh huh. If a box of milk um have a a road or have a um, uh, hey, I don't I I don't have the word to explain that mm -hmm. when have a, a, a head and. And you can see some damages. Yes, right? some damages. For example, in a can of sardines, when it is with a little, a little fold, is right. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little fold. fold. They they sell to the employees. Mm -hmm. well, maybe, so, maybe uh -huh. when, when the the product don't pass the the quality standard that the 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 company have in, in 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 the production maybe is is avería too exactly. no avería is not working or the so, product is look in this case do you know what scratch is scratch no it's, it scratches when 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 something have uh, things like that uh -huh. it's como un rasguño right yes so fault in this case, as the context that your classmate is explaining, like averillas. So that could be the translation, fault. We are talking about a product and the product has some damages, has some scratches maybe. Mm 
like an example. Imagine if I have this bottle of water and uh, my bottle, I don't know, got some damages. What will happen with the water? The water will come out and it's going to be a huge disaster over here. That is, esa pequeña rajadurita va a ser un fault. Okay? Now, uh, I can see Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the, the vocabulary, the, 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 for me in my word, it's a, a second quality or uh, third quality in uh, the product. It's a, they say, the Magdaleno. Uh, El, eh, in my word is second quality. Ah, okay. Es avería. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you are using the same vocabulary. Yeah, so if you want to say that, it's going to be fault. Okay? Yeah. Pretty good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. So vocabulary. Let's write it down. Let's write it down and learn it. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, it. Ya no me acuerdo en cuál íbamos. Oh, expiration date, sorry. Expiration date is related with perishable product. If you buy a, something to eat, you have to see when the product is no longer good to consume it, right? If you go to the supermarket and you buy some milk, you have to see. Uh, you can drink this milk until, and you see the expiration date. When you go to the supermarket, do you check the expiration date? Yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. I hope so. Do it, do it, because we never know, guys, when the products can be rotten. Okay. Uh, next, we have replenish. What do you think? Replenish. What is that? Have you ever seen that word? No, teacher. No, teacher. Replenish, no. Okay. Extra point for the ones who explain me that. <laughs> teacher, yeah? Google Translate, the extra point is mine. I uh, know, if you use Google Translation, <laughs> it, it doesn't count. Okay, but uh, explain us, explain uh, us with your own words. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> so what is replenish? What do you think? Okay, my friend Google said what is, um, but again, the product. For example, if you sell some, if you have a bottle of water and you sell that, and you sell it, and you sell it, mm -hmm. you replenish the bottle of water. If you sell it again, you replenish again. And that is the circle. <laughs> That's <laughs> it, exactly. So it listen. Uh, restock and replenish basically they are very similar right what happens is that restock is more frequently used when we are talking specifically about warehousing or supermarkets when we are talking about merchandise replenish on the other hand we can use it in all the other scenarios okay so but the meaning is basically the same now, inventory management. What do you think? What could be the meaning of that phrase? The policy that you have in the inventory and in your warehouse. Mm -hmm. Very good. For example, when you when you have a, a product that is if the expiration date is is early, you have to you have to sell first, and or or the or the product that you or the raw material or packaging material if you have you you have to sell first first in and and first out. Maybe it's a policy. 
I think that this is a policy that you have in your um, inventory or or the tracking the the QR code, mm -hmm. maybe. Basically, as she said, right, it's like the control that you need to have, right? If you are the management or the manager in a warehouse, you need to have a control of everything, right? All the merchandise that you have, the expiration date, the state, everything. So it's basically a control. We are going to be talking a little bit more about this one, inventory management. Then we have spoilage. What is that? What do you think? Spoilage. When I, when I read spoil, my, in my mind, uh, reboot uh, water, glory, fire. But Google said that it is <laughs> when something is done able to use. Mm -hmm. So basically, guys, think about something that is damaged. All right. Um, if you have something that is not working properly anymore, so that means that is spoilage. However, in this scenario, we are using spoilage not as a noun. I mean, not as an adjective, but as a noun. So we can say, ah, oh, I can see the spoilage in my garden during the years. So I'm not using it as an adjective. I'm using it as a noun, okay? Uh, I don't know if you got the meaning for this one. Everyone? Yes, nope. Okay, it's going to be like deterioro, okay? So in this case, it's not an adjective, it's a noun. How um, is a noun? Huh? How is a noun? The, a noun is a noun. It's like, it's the subject. I mean, I cannot say something, imagine in this scenario. Ah, my house is spoilage. Si lo uso así, aquí sería un adjective. But it's not correct, okay? No lo puedo usar como un adjective. Why? Because this word is not an adjective. Lo puedo usar como un noun. How could it be? Mm, I can say. Um, let me think in an example that could be clear. The spoil can... the spoilage of the milk is caused by expired mm. date, expired time. Yeah, that could be one. And imagine if I say um, the extreme. Uh, well, sorry, the extreme weather. Okay, can cost uh, some spoilage in my house, for example. So I'm using a spoilage as a noun, not as an adjective. Or imagine if you visit an old house. It's very old. What can you say? <gasps> there um there is a lot of spoilage in this house or this car is in a spoilage situation so what i wanted to see here guys is that this is not an adjective it's a noun is that clear yes yep, yep. Teacher, an adjective could be damaged. Damage, yes. Okay, the other question is replenish is a verb, right? Replenish, yes. Restock and is a verb too. Restock is a verb. 
Yeah. Stock is noun. Mm, it Rock. depends. Look at these guys. What happens is that it's going to depend on the context. If I say inventory, okay, that's a noun. No. Stock, it will depend. Most of the time, it can be a noun. But it can also be a verb. What you have to be careful here is the context and the way that you can use it. Okay? Because it can be a verb too. For example, you can say, um, I need to stock some product in my warehouse. Okay? Or, mm, yeah, I have the control of all my stock in the warehouse. In one sentence, I use it as a verb, in some other, as a noun. In okay. this case, stock stock could be similar to buy new products. Yes, exactly. In this case, if you want to use it as a verb, it's like sell, keep, como almacenar. That could be one of the translations. Or oh. vender, o surtir. Those could be like the translations. All right? <laughs> Um, then restock, well, out of the season, in this case, it will count as just as a adjective, okay? Restock, it will be a verb, rotten as an adjective. Expiration date, well, that's a noun. Replenish is a verb. Inventory management, that's a noun. Spoilage is a noun. And the last one is irrelevant. So what is the meaning for irrelevant? What do you think? What is not relevant? It's not important. That is not important. So in your opinion, is that a noun? Is that an adjective? Or is that a verb? What do you think? It's an adjective. Correct. It's an adjective. So why it is important to know the function of the words. Because if you want to create a sentence, you need to know what is the function of it. And this is the same as in Spanish. Imagine if I have the verb. Hola, hermana. Hola, like hermana. Microphones. Okay, imagine if I have a verb in Spanish. Tenemos que saber usarlo, right? As a verb. I cannot say something like, Ay, comer es eh, maravilla. Can I say that? Comer es maravilla. No, we cannot use it like that. Maravilla is a noun. ¿Qué tengo que colocar aquí in Spanish? Maravilloso. Ajá, maravilla. So, so that's the adjective. Exactly like that happens in English. We need to know if it is a noun, if it is a verb, or so on and so on. Okay? Now, is that clear the meaning of these words, everyone? Yes? Nope? A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, we are going to have another practice in order that this word can be a little bit clearer. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Very good. Carlos Abrego. Okay, very good. Uh, Christian Alexander. I think he's listening, right? Erika Yasmin. Oh, she's sick. Okay. Um, let's see. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Herman Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see. Give me a second. Okay. Hector Francisco. 
present picture. Okay. Um, Herman, I can see that on your profile sells only Alex Duran. So try to write your full name, please. Okay. Very good. Um, Isabel Hernandez. Same is. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Giron. Present. All right. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Um, Oscar Armando. Present. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just on time. Very good. Okay, let's have a practice. Do you know what is a crossword? Yes. Crossword. Look at this. Of course, teacher. Do you like it? I like it. Okay. And you guys? <laughs> I don't like it. Ah, Shoot the letter. Shoot the letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going to complete together, okay, this crossword. All right. So I'm going to show you the definition and you tell me what is that. Look at the number one. Can you see it, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, look at the first one says, is the process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's inventory? Inventory hmm. management, maybe. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Yes, inventory management is the green. Yes, the. Uh huh. Yes, inventory management. Management. <laughs> you got it. I need a volunteer, please, for reading uh, the definition. To provide a new supply of something to replace what has been used, sold, taken. Thank you. Mm, so what is that? It's the green one. So restock. the ones that are here. It's restock. So, are you sure? Oh, no, actually, no. <laughs> No, Actually, yeah. it is. <laughs> okay, volunteer for reading the definition. A previously determined day after which something should the longer be used. Okay, pronunciation. Okay, hold on. Pronunciation determined. 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 This one used. 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 That is the one. No use it. Used. Uh huh. Used. What is this? Expiration date. Expiration. Expiration. Oh my goodness, guys. You oh. are good at it. Very good. Wow. Nice. A uh, volunteer for reading the definition, please. At the time of year when a place is less popular or fashion fashionable. 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 Uh-huh. Out, out season. Out season. Add. Okay. Out, out of season. season. Oh my goodness. Very good job. So volunteer, please, for reading the next one. Can I? Yes, please. The goods or merchandise kept on the premises of this of a business or warehouse. Mm -hmm. What is Stock. that? Stock. Stock. Oh my goodness, that's great! So, volunteer for the next one, please. Uh, complete the list of items. So. As property, good and uh, stock. Thank you. Hmm. Inventory. 
Inventory. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, inventory. <laughs> Great job. You are good at it. Next, please, volunteer. The deterioration of food and perishable goods. Thank you. Hmm, what is that? Rotten. Rotten. It's a spoilage. It's a spoilage. It's a spoilage. Rotten or spoilage? spoilage. No, it's spoilage. Spoilage. Yes, good job. Okay. To make full or complete again? Stock? No. Mm, but we already got restock here. Replenish. 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 Ah, very good. So we are remember we have two words that are kind of dissimilar, right? So replenish. Ah, very good. A volunteer for reading, please. It's not important to or not connected with the present situation or discussion. Uh huh. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Ah, very good. Irrelevant. So when something is not important, it's just irrelevant. Uh, the last one, volunteer for reading, please. Dedicate or decompose a stat. State. In this is missing the letter E. Sorry. So in a decade or just compose state. Be careful with the microphones, please. Rotten. Rotten. Okay. Rotten. Very good. So you see, guys, you won. Extra points for the exam. Very good. <laughs> okay. Now. Are the words a little bit clearer now? Yes? Yes, did you? Are With you sure? Doubt. Yes, no, I am not. Okay. <laughs> now, this is what we are going to do. Listen, the idea is not just to learn the words, uh, yeah, memorize the words, but the idea is to know how to use those words. Okay, so in this moment, everyone, we are going to have a written activity. Okay, so I'm going to put it easy, no worries. I just wanted to choose three of these words and write sentences using each of them. Okay, so the ones that you prefer, here is optional. So I want you to choose three words. If you are going to use, for example, rotten, okay, write a sentence using rotten. But remember, it is an adjective. Use it as an adjective. If you want to use irrelevant, okay, that's good. But remember, that is an adjective, okay? I want interesting sentences. Remember that you are intermediate for okay three sentences send them in the chat go ahead you can choose the words that you prefer you can write the sentences in the grammar tense that you prefer it can be future present past present perfect the ones that you want the ones that you prefer okay only three you will have Five minutes to complete this task. Go ahead. Send it on WhatsApp's group. If you have a question, just let me know. Go ahead.
only three sentences. Try to write interesting sentences, please. Use the words that you prefer. Okay, I see some of your classmates are sending already the sentences. I will be checking the sentences. So send it in the chat, please. Okay, one of your classmates already finished. Excellent, very good. Okay, I'm reading very interesting sentences. I liked it. Okay, guys, for the one who hasn't finished, two more minutes. Teacher, I'm seeing, I am watching in my example or mistake. Please, please correct me. Okay. Logistic, logistic manager is in charge of our companies. Is right? Inventory, yes. Okay. You need the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. So I'm checking yours, Hector. When you say before the day over, what do you mean? Before the day ends? That's what you mean? Day end, yes. Okay. Um, I, I have a mistake with the over, but I mean. 
it's better if it's better if you say before the day finishes maybe um. or you can say it must be complete uh, by the end of the day i'm going to write it here by the end of the day so by the end of the day means before that I can start list of antes before the day ends. Okay. 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 Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, take careful. Mm, we don't say take careful. You can say be careful. Okay. Or you can say take care. But Take careful, mm -mm, not really, okay? But so far so good, the synthesis sounds great. I like it. Okay, let's see, I'm reading your sentences. Let's see. Hmm, okay. Remember, everybody, we need to be careful the way that we use these words. Sometimes they are adjectives, sometimes they are nouns, sometimes they are verbs, okay? So you have to be careful the way that you use them. Okay, I will be trying to check all your answers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, remember the word replace, not reprise. Okay. I'm checking some people use reprise but that is not there hmm okay very interesting sentences i like it Yes, me sorry. It's my mistake. The word price is replaced. So sorry <laughs> when I write. So sorry. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Um, because of the time, I won't be able to um, to check all your sentences right now, but I will be reading your sentences after the class, okay? In this moment, I already verified like four of the sentences and I'm trying to send the corrections. I will continue reading it after the class. And if I send you a message, it's because I'm correcting them. So try to see the comments and just be careful the way that you are using them, okay? Now, um, I can see a lot of people with the camera off. What happens, guys? We need to keep cameras on, come on. Okay, after learning this vocabulary, if you haven't finished the sentences, you can still continue sending them, okay? Now, we are going to continue talking and discussing about the warehouse management okay uh, be careful with the microphones i'm listening to some background sorry okay let's talk about we are just learning vocabulary related to inventory to inventory management all of those things so 
What is that? What is warehouse? We already know the meaning of warehouse. Yes, is it clear? The meaning of warehouse? Yes? Yes, teacher. It yes? Is... yes. All right, that's great. Now, what happens if I use together warehouse and then the word management? Hmm, but what is that? I need a volunteer for reading the definition, please. Teacher? Yes, please. It, uh, the, the, uh, it is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, to the way and picking of goods. Okay, so what is the meaning of day-to-day -day operations? What do you think? Uh -huh. Same step every day. It's a, yes. It's a, it's a control, control every day in the inventory or, or mm -hmm. the warehouses. That's it. So if you say day to day, it's like if you are saying daily. Okay. So it's an activity that you do every day. So when we are talking about warehouse management, basically, guys, we are talking about the control of receiving, putting away, storage, picking, packing, chipping, all the merchandise, okay? Warehouse management, they have the control of all of these actions. Is it clear the meaning for warehouse management? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Would you like to be a warehouse manager, manager, sorry, I have my tongue a little bit weird today. Would you like to be warehouse manager? Yes or no? Yes, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> it's not big, it's huge. <laughs> yes. Imagine you have to keep the control of not only receiving, but putting away. You receive the product, you need to put the product in the correct order. You need to storage the product. You need to pick the product. You need to pack the product. And then you have to keep the product ready to ship. So hmm, I think that is huge responsibility. And you have to do it daily. So that is basically the meaning of warehouse management. So I have some questions right here. Um, volunteer for reading the first question, please. Could I teach you? Yes, please. What would happen if the warehouse of a very, very, um, <laughs> what would happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reached, reached, reaches, 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 reaches at maximum capacity, capacity, mm -hmm. maximum capacity. So what do you think, guys? Imagine a warehouse and the warehouse doesn't have more space. It doesn't have more room. It's at the maximum capacity. So what would happen? What do you think? They need a new warehouse. <laughs> okay. But imagine with all the customers that they already have, what will happen with all of those trucks that are arriving to the warehouse to deliver the products over there? What do you think? In my opinion, the manager needs contract, uh, need an outsourcing. Ah, that's a good one. So imagine this warehouse will need outsourcing because they will need more room, but 
very fast. At the contrary, they will just lose their customers, right? Now, uh, how will avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? How can we avoid that situation? Any suggestions? Uh-huh. What do you think? Maybe you have to evaluate the demand because if you have a lot of uh, product in your warehouse, it's because you are not sell in, in, in the correct time, maybe. Ah, that's a good one. So basically, guys, we need to have a very organized control, right? Everything in order. So that's why imagine a manager in this situation needs to be clever. It needs to be an excellent manager, right? So when we are talking about the warehouse, okay, and all the aspects that this warehouse include, let's see some discussion problem about the storage problems that these people have. So I will need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Lucy. Me. You will be Rose and who say me? Nelson. Nelson, you will be Matt. Let me do it bigger. This information, guys, is on your manual. So if you got your manuals, page 25. Okay, Natalie, you start. Can you see it very well? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. Last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to the different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes third. Very good. Thank you. So let's answer some questions. What happens to Matt's current warehouse. What is the situation here? Ramon, uh, Sara. Sara. Okay, Sorry. be, ca be careful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So what happens yeah. to Matt's current warehouse? If you paid attention to the reading. More space because I don't have actually the space for the shipment that will be arrived soon. Or mm -hmm. no, the 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 warehouse is the, I have a problem. The problem the problem is like uh, more space in your stores. So they don't have more space, right? So imagine in this case, guys, they don't have more store to hold the shipment that is going to arrive soon. And what could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? What will happen? The, the product will get damaged. Exactly, the product will be damaged. So imagine that's what something that they don't want. If they damage the, prof the product, they will lose a lot of money. So what does Matt do about the problem? Say that if he, if he, the, 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 if they have another possibility to leave the product in another warehouse. Exactly. So what is that? That is out sort Sing. Okay. They will outsource another company, right? That can help you to ship 
or to hold all the products so they cannot be damaged and they can be safe. Okay, so if you see guys, warehouse management is very, very important. Okay, if we don't have a good control, it can happen in these kind of situations. We won't have more room for important stocks. Okay, now we're going to see a difference between these words, warehouse management, and stock control. We already saw the definitions for warehouse management. So now let's see what is the difference between stock control, okay? I need a volunteer please for reading the definition of stock control. Thank you, sir. Yes, please. Stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of warehouse operations. Thank you. So we already checked what is warehouse management, right? They have to keep the control of the shipping, receiving, everything. But stock control, what do they need to do? They are trying to maximize the profit. profit. How? How are they trying to maximize the cost or the profit? Getting a good inventory, okay? A very efficient inventory. So, if I have some definitions right here, what do you think? Which definitions is for warehouse management and which definition is for stock control? Here we got this letter, sorry, uh-huh. Stock control? Mm-hmm. Which and one? Number one. And number two, it means you... No, the number one is A and the second is B, in my opinion. Yeah. Hmm. The second is stock and number one is warehouse. Hmm. Okay, everybody? The third one is stock control. And the second is the warehouse management. Yes. Hmm, okay. Is that your final answer, everyone? <laughs> the first is warehouse management and second is stock control. <laughs> <laughs> now you change your mind. I agree with Mirna. It's my my last opinion, my last oh. answer. Okay. No, no. In the in the second is warehouses management. In the first yeah. one is stock control. Why? Uh-huh. Why? I Why think the second is a stock the... control because uh, say when to order more. Mm, okay, I'm going to mark that. So when to order more. Remember, when we have this type of situations, we need to pick the keywords. So Fatima says that it's stock control because of this. It's telling us when to order more. Okay. Yes, I agree with Fatima. Yes, because it's the key in the in the stock control. You have to know when you have to order more. Okay. Everyone, how about you? Do you agree or not? How about the number one? Why do you think that the number one is warehouse management? You have the, the product and you have to organize the product in your warehouse. This is the day, the 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 tax for day daily is a daily daily routine in the inventor in the warehouse management. Ah, 
So in this case, basically they need to be picked. Name. Yeah, those could be like the keywords. Let's go back to the definitions. What is the work for the warehouse management? Control. They need to control what? Shipping, receiving, put away, picking. How about the stock control? We need to maximize the profits. Profit. We need to have an inventory. Inventory. Okay. So the job for stock control is to have an efficiency of the all operations. Go back in on the definitions, guys. It tells you where the items are in the order and the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? Are you sure for your answer? Warehouse management? In my opinion, it the statement is talking about the entrance of merchandise and the I, I lost the idea out well, <laughs> the, the the products. Okay. What is the verb I can use? But I don't get your idea. Los productos que entran y que salen. Okay, in this case, guys, if we are talking about enter, we can talk about receiving, receiving or picking, right? They take the product. Mm -hmm. That is my opinion because that is my just my justification for my answer. In my opinion, that is the letter A. Okay, and actually, guys, that's the correct one. Look, warehouse management and stock control. I will show you a picture. And in this picture, I am trying to explain a little bit better the differences between warehouse management and stock control. Look at the definition. In the warehouse management, they are just telling us where, ¿Qué nos están diciendo? Ah, where is the product, okay? And the order of the product. Look at the next picture. In this one, this is how a warehouse management look like, okay? It says that in this space, I have this product. If I want a Coke, I need to go over here. If I need to a camera, they are over here. So they are telling me what? where the products are. ¿Me están diciendo dónde están los products in this one? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So if I have a Coke, where do I need to put them? Where? Look, over here. ¿Me va a decir a dónde la necesito poner, sí o no? Yes. yes. But that's it, okay? A warehouse <clears throat> management is explaining, is telling me where the products are. So when I have a new product, they will be able to tell me where I need to put them, okay? What is the difference between the stock control? Look, in the stock control, they say, when I need to order more. Look at the picture. In this case, what happens here? I only have one Coke. Do I need more? What do you think? Yes. 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 So the stock control is telling me, hey, look, I just have one. So we need to buy more products. So how many or how much product do we need? Ah, okay, we need, we got a space for two. So let's buy two more, okay? There we are, okay? 
That is the difference between warehouse and the stock. Yes, is it clear the idea? Yes. Yes, everyone? Yes. Cool. Yes, so remember, warehouse, they explain where you can find the product. They are very organized. But the stock, they have the inventory. They need to be careful of the expiration date, of the amount of product, when you need to buy more. Okay? Got it? Yes? Any questions so far? I don't have. Nope. Okay, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer to be the manager of the warehouse or the manager of the stock control? What do you think? The stock. manager <laughs> earned a lot of money. I want to be a manager. <laughs> Each of them is good for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you guys, which one do you think it requires more responsibility? The stock control. Stock control? Yeah, right. Imagine you need to be very careful. You need to pay a lot of attention in all the products. If you buy more than what you need, it will be a problem. If you don't buy the product that you need, it will be a problem. So stock control is a huge responsibility, okay? Now, we already checked the difference between the warehouse management and the stock control. Now let's think about the types of warehouse management. We have different type of warehouse, okay? We have different types. We are going to see some of them. The first type is holding warehouse. We are going to see three types. So try to pay attention, please, and try to identify the differences. Holding warehouse. Hmm, look at the picture. What comes to your mind when you see this picture? Don't read the definition yet, just by the picture. Hmm, what comes to your mind? How much time are the product in the warehouse? Few time, I mean, a lot of, a little. What do you think? According to the picture? Picture? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think how, how many time the, 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 the product is on, in, on warehouse, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a lot or just a little bit? Okay, in the holding warehouse, the the first characteristics is uh, they have a large space. Ah, okay. Large space. Um, uh, how, excuse me, now uh, rent out rent the, the 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 space the space okay. and the other and the others the clients the customers okay now ivan read the definition please okay uh, holding warehouse is a type of business that store products and materials for other company these agents usually have a large space that they rent out to their clients. clients. The holding warehouse client, thank you. Clients. The holding warehouse agent agents agency is agency agency is responsibility for keeping the product safe and secure and for ensuring they the day that they are delivery to the correct destination on time. Thank you. So the first type of warehouse is holding. What is the characteristic of this type of warehouse? That they have, what? 
large space. space. So, what comes to your mind for a large space? What do you think? Do you think that the product stay there like few minutes or they can have products for a long time? What do you think? For a long time. For a long yes. time, exactly. That's why those warehouses are huge because some products will be there for a long time. We don't know exactly how long. So, but during the time that the product is there, they have to keep it safe and secure. And they had to be responsible that the product will be delivered on time. Oh. Okay? Is it clear the definition for holding warehouse? Yeah. Uh, teacher, yeah. in, other, in other words, uh, a holding house is an outsourcing for someone who don't have an who don't have enough warehouses. Could be. Imagine in this case, like the conversations that we had before in the reading practice, the company doesn't have more warehouse. So that could be a good idea to outsource a holding warehouse because they are huge. It's like, okay, aquí en mi warehouse ya no me cabe. Okay, ¿qué voy a hacer? Ah, outsource a holding warehouse. Contrato un holding warehouse y envío todos los products para allá. ¿Por qué? Ay, porque yo sé que ellos tienen a large space. Large, large, large. All right? Is it clear? It's a, it's, it's a interesting... Uh, Okay, sorry. I'm listening to people at the same time. Oscar and then Ivan. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. In, in my case, in, in my in my job, mm -hmm. it's the uh, we storing in in my world is storing in warehouse. The uh, export and receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, import export. Yeah. I'm very good. Uh, but is the with uh, my story is full is uh, the companies uh, doing the contract with uh, with um, another yeah but the contract container uh -huh. uh, with uh, como warehouse ah uh, they they use um container as warehouse yeah yeah um, oh. but, uh, como 10 container or 8 container, uh, mm -hmm. depend need the company, but uh, the, they do the warehouse. Very good. And you know, that's what some warehouse do. They don't have uh, like, like a room, like a house. They, they sometimes use containers. And that's another one. And that's another option. Interesting, yes. nice. Uh, Ivan, what were you saying? Yeah, see, teacher, as as I said it, as I say, I at I see it. The 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 concept, the holding, the holding warehouse, mm -hmm. is interesting for me because uh, as it's a type of business. It is. It is. So imagine in this case, if you want to have a holding warehouse, the first thing that you need to look is for a huge space, right? So what do you think, guys? Do you think that the warehouse generates a lot of money? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do, right? Because yes. imagine yeah. all the products that they hold there so yes, they definitely <laughs> generate a lot of money. Uh, 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 teacher, teacher. But but 
Okay, <laughs> uh, Oscar, and then I don't know who was talking. Okay, go ahead. But, uh, my company uh, contract the container. Uh, the company pays for day, uh, fifteen dollar for days. Per day, imagine. Yeah. And they this is just talking house. about. Imagine, and this is just talking about the containers. What happens with the companies that they have huge amounts of products? So it's a lot of money. Imagine yes. you are receiving a lot of money solo por tener ahí un producto. Just imagine in your house. Imagine if a friend says, hey, puedo dejar mi carro aquí en tu patio. Oh, yeah, sure. $50 per day. Oh, wow. Imagine. <laughs> so that is the business of a warehouse. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Someone was saying something. Go ahead. Nope. Any comment? Okay. So keep in mind the characteristics. Okay. Holding warehouse, the characteristic is large space. Uh, they can keep the product for long period of times, but the products are always safe and ready to be delivered on time, okay? Now, let's see another type of warehouse. And this is the distribution center. What happens in the distribution center? Uh, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher? Yes, please. Distribution center. It's a logistic facility that stores finished goods before they are picked and packed. Packed. packed to full fulfill customers' orders. Distribution centers play a key a key role in the supply chain, particularly with regard to helping fulfill customer orders more quickly and accurately while keeping associated costs down. All right. Thank you, Fatima. So let's analyze a little bit the distribution center. In this case, what is the difference? What differences can you identify here? What do you think? Look. Yeah, and uh, the um, uh huh. The distribution center uh, is a key role in the supply chains. Mm -hmm. What else? Imagine in this case, distribution centers are that huge as the holding warehouse. They don't have. It doesn't say it. So they don't have a lot of space. What is the business for distribution center? How much time does the product stay in the distribution center? Short time. Hey. Uh -huh. It's a short time. It's a short yeah. period of time. So listen, the distribution center, guys, it's a little bit smaller because in this case, it's just like um, the truck arrives with the product, okay? Imagine that this is the uh, distribution center. So the trucks arrive, left the product, but in a few period of time, arrives the other truck and take the product. So most of the time, even when they are smaller, they will have space. Why? Because the product don't stay there so long, right? So, por eso es que siempre tienen espacio, porque casi nunca se quedan los productos mucho tiempo. That is the business for distribution center. Yes? Teacher, they are like um, a wholesaler because they, they, uh, they bought a lot of a lot of product and deliver at the same time at the mm -hmm. same time to the stores that's the one 
Excellent. And as you said, we have a pretty good example of this type of distribution center. ¿Quién es un buen ejemplo de distribution center? Amazon. Amazon. Why do you think that Amazon is an example of this type of center? Just imagine, in time. <laughs> uh -huh. imagine there is a person, we got the customer. The customer orders a product online. Okay, how much time does the customer need to wait until the product arrives to his house? No more than three days, maybe. So it's very fast. So that's why, look at here, Amazon. Do you think that Amazon keep the packages for a long time? Or is just arrive the product, pack it and send it to the customer. What do you think? The second scenario that is exactly is fast. Exactly, right? So it's very fast. So remember, in the distribution center, as your classmate says, in this case, guys, the product doesn't stay in that place so long. It's a very quick time because we need to fulfill the customer. In this scenario, if the product is not in this center so long, what will happen with the cost? Goes it's down. down. So it's a little bit cheaper. Okay? So again, Holding warehouse is a little bit more expensive because the product is there for a long time. Distribution center is a little bit cheaper. I mean, si no lo van a usar por mucho tiempo, no van a tener que pagar tanto, right? Is it clear the difference between distribution center and holding warehouse? Well, teacher, excuse me, what is the meaning? It's Throw, throw put. Through put, through put. Through put, through put. Okay, have you ever heard that word before? Extra point for the ones who define that. Throughput. Rendimiento. Ah, very good. In some scenarios, we can use it in that way. So uh, we can translate it if you want to like rendimiento. In some companies, Usan la palabra de producción. So we are just talking about the capacity, right? Of how that company works. In this case, ¿por qué mostramos esta palabra? Porque si se fijan, tenemos un reloj, un timer. Es decir, que el proceso tiene que ser fast. Exactly. La producción tiene que ser fast. Got it? Yes? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, center, center distribution is could be the crawling logistic. Yeah, actually, yes, it could be. Yeah, for uh, in our company is the uh, deliver the logistic for mm -hmm. uh, for client in export the shipping. So. Is the product there for a long time or for a few? No, a short, a, a short time. Short period of time. So that yeah, is the characteristic. Yeah. Exactly. So for example, that's... For example uh, um, the, today uh, export the uh, currently logistics for day uh, export for USA tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, imagine. So it's basically just few hours, right? Yeah. In that case, that is a distribution center. Yes. Pretty good. Okay, let's see the last type of warehouse that we are going to study today. And is cross docking center. Okay, we already studied the cross docking. I hope you remember. 
If you see this picture, what do you understand for it? What in comes here? Out. <laughs> <laughs> in and out. So yeah. <laughs> they are just a bridge. Exactly. That's the word. Okay. Can you read the definition? Anyone? Uh huh. Can I? Uh, yes, please. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, no. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Okay. Distribution process is which the products are unloaded from incoming basic basically um, loading directly onto on stone of stone there. Eh? At going. I going the uh, okay. I was going basically with a minimal or no storage in between. Thank between. you. Between. Okay. Unloaded. 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 Vehicles. Vehicles. Uh huh. That is the one. So in this case, everybody, as your classmate said, they are just a bridge. Okay, this is just uh, the track one number one arrives, the next track is already there waiting. So they just translate the product and the warehouse is just a bridge. The product doesn't stay here, okay? T -shirt, but in uh -huh. this case, the warehouse is uh, like uh, just for the control that's in and out, or or where is the, the function that, that the warehouse in, in that case? In this case, guys, I'm going to give you uh, an example, but imagine that this truck has different products, has beers, snacks, chicken, uh, clothes okay so there are it could be different tracks over here so un track se va a llevar las beers possibly the other track will take the clothes the other track will take the chicken so no quiere decir que todo el producto va a ir solo para uno okay so the function of the cross docking in this case is to keep control. Tiene que tener todo listo para decir, okay, este producto se va para acá. Este otro producto se va para acá. So that is the function for the cross docking center. Okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, Hector, do you want to say something? Uh, teacher, I don't know. Uh... Harbor could be example for this cross cross duking center. Which one? Because I think I'm harbor. I don't know what and that. <laughs> I'm harbor, sorry. When the when the ship uh harbor harbor H A R B O N. Hmm. Oh error. Sorry, harbor, harbor. Oh, do you mean the port? Um, I got it. El like puerto, that's Harbor. what you mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pearl Harbor is different. I mean, you are talking about like el puerto, un port. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's okay. different. Mm -hmm. mm, get... Basically, that's a good example. Because if you see, the product doesn't stay there. When a chip arrives, imagine tenemos un barco, the chips arrives there. Right. The mm -hmm. product doesn't stay there. Cuando el barco llega, ya están todos los tracks ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could be an example of cross docking center. Very good. Sure. Harbor uh -huh. is not good. It's not. It's not a word for define the 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 um the city. Actually, mm -hmm. I've never heard that in that area in that context. But I mean. What happens is, si vamos a decir puerto, lo más común es decir port. It's, it's like port. the most common, uh -huh, port, like port. 
Okay. So Harvard in this case, I mean, it could be like a synonym. So yeah, we can use it too. They are just synonyms. I think teacher, because in the, the plane have a port too. Mm -hmm. Is it so, different yes. or is it similar? No, it's different. I mean, it's the same guys. Remember, what is the meaning of port? It's a place port. where you arrive. So that is the meaning. So in this case, port and harbor, they are just the same. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. So we're talking about that cross docking is just a bridge. All right. A good example of cross docking. Do you recognize this company? Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> what happens with with Walmart? Walmart, how many Walmarts do you think that are in the United States? What do you think? How many Walmarts are there in the United States? A lot, a lot, a a lot, a lot. So, Walmart needs cross docking centers. Why? Imagine these trucks are full with products. Some of these products are like food they have expiration date they need to be transport very fast they cannot be storage in a warehouse no so imagine um i have this truck this truck comes from new york for example Y todo lo que va en el contenido necesita ser trasladado a diferentes ciudades. So, the truck arrives to the center y todo el producto es empaquetado en diferentes trucks. Y cada truck se va para el Walmart que le corresponde. So, there is no time no hay tiempo para guardar todo el contenido y tenerlo ahí en el warehouse. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué pasaría si lo dejamos en el warehouse? What will happen with the product? They will expire. They will expire. Mm -hmm. They won't be, I mean, they cannot be there for a long time. Okay? So, again, in this scenario, guys, remember, the product doesn't stay in the warehouse. The function is just to be a bridge. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, I clear. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm ready so for good. the exam? <laughs> ready, ready. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. <laughs> okay, what happens with the people with the camera? Oh my gosh, guys, I can see you there. Sorry, uh teacher, <laughs> but I can't. So sorry today. I have a trouble with my headphone and camera. I'm so sorry. I have to restart my, <laughs> my Okay, and the other ones, come on, guys, keep it on. Okay, before the exam, let's uh, I need to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Camera, please. Carlos Abrego. Present. Camera, Carlos, camera on. Christian Alexander. Oh, he's listener, I'm sorry. Um, Fatima Denise? Present teacher. Camera, camera. Herman Alexander? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Hector Francisco? Present teacher. Excellent. Isabel Hernandez? 
Isabel Hernández. My gosh. Eh, Iván Guzmán. Present. Ok. Jamie Raquel. Present. Ok. Holman Girón. Holman Girón. Present. Ok. Lucy Natalie. Present. Present. Okay. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Now. I need a volunteer, please. Uh huh. I, I won't tell you for what. Just I need a volunteer. Who wants to be my volunteer? I'm asleep. I wanna be a volunteer. <laughs> okay, Magdaleno, explain the class, please. What is the first type of warehouse that we just studied? I remember what was. And maybe the warehouse, um, the warehouse, the warehouse that have a lot of space, a large space. I don't remember the name, but they have a lot, a lot of space to storage um, products from uh, a lot of other businesses, a lot of other. Um, <laughs> okay, guys, help him. What is the name? Holding. Holding? Holding warehouse. warehouse. Holding. Holding warehouse. <laughs> okay, Jamie got the extra point. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Very good. But as Magdalena said, right, those have a lot of space, right? The product can stay there for a long time. And most of the time, they are more expensive. Magdaleno, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, okay, my pleasure. A victim. Yeah, a victim. Okay. The first one, my, my computer is Lucy. <laughs> okay, Lucy, what was the second warehouse that we started today? The second type of warehouse. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot hear you, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Was, um... Inventory management. Inventory management. Is that correct, everyone? Mm, no, really. Okay, no. Lucy uh, asks. Uh, okay, Fatima. Yes. Cross docking center. Cross docking center. Actually, that was the third one. Oh, distributor <laughs> center. Very good. Yeah, distribution center was <laughs> right. Distribution the center. center. So, Lucy, do you remember what the distribution center is about? Um, yeah, not really. <laughs> okay, Mirna, help her. What is the distribution center about? Distribution center is when you have a. a the the warehouse and you don't you have a, a short time to the to to deliver this product in your warehouse you don't need to a uh, long time and you have to to keep your stock control and maybe just in time or you have to keep the 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 inventory control in in your product and, That's and correct. keep, and keep for, for, uh, it's fast the, you have to move fast or quickly exactly so in these types guys remember they are a little bit smaller but they always have time 
because the product doesn't stay there for a long period. It's just very fast. They can stay there just for hours, for one day maybe, okay? That is the difference between distribution center. Okay, Lucy, pick one of your classmates, please. Mm, Adriana. Thank you. Hello, Adriana. Are you there? Okay, I think Adriana is sleeping already. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, pick someone else. Rosalina. Okay, Rosalina, are you there? Oh my gosh, guys, I mean, I know that sometimes the topics are a little complicated, I totally understand, but those are the topics that Insafor's programs offers, okay? So we need to try to pay attention, okay? I know it's tiring. I know that maybe the topics is something that you can think, ah, I don't feel identified with those topics. I know, but remember, those are the topics for Insafor's program, okay? So let's try to make an effort, okay? Teacher, I think that, that, that every one of the topics that I was started, I had, I have started, mm -hmm. they, they was interesting, a lot of, uh, all of them. Because um, yeah, they are topics that we use uh, every day in businesses. In businesses. And, that's, and that's the idea. Remember that your English program is oriented for your work or different type of work. Mm -hmm. It's not oriented like another English program that is just to learn the language, okay? There are different types of studies. There are some companies that you can learn English if you want to travel to United States. So the vocabulary, of course, will be different. If you want to learn English because you want to study in another country, of course, the language, the vocabulary will be different. If you want to learn just for fun, just because you want it, of course, it will be different. So in this case, the English is because of work. That's why actually, we are checking that topic. Uh -huh. Actually, teacher, I am feeling that I am receiving two courses, one of <laughs> marketing and other one for English. Exactly. I am that. That's the one. And guys, here, everyone learns. All right? I mean... So I know that maybe you don't feel identified, that could happen, okay? And I totally understand, but let's try to make an effort. Uh, if you feel tired, that's as always I said, cup of coffee before of the class, or I don't know, drink soda maybe, or keep a snack. Yo no los voy a regañar porque se estén comiendo un snack. I mean, no, guys. Si eso los ayuda a mantenerse up and ready to participate, I mean, do it. There's no problem at all. Aseguren que sea un snack, right? No vayan a estar ahí con un gran pedazo de carne porque no lo van a poder estar comiendo y participando, right? Oh, right, 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 so, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that's why. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. I mean, a pupusa it's fine because you can have like little pieces, <laughs> but little snacks. Okay, there's no problem at all. Nueces. Healthy is not. <laughs> yeah. Look, nueces. Nice. <laughs> those helps. Yeah. Not. Uh, some peanuts, dope helps to keep your mind like active. So uh, this is just a recommendation. Just remember that the class is being recorded. So since Afor viera esta clase, right? Iba a decir, ah, ¿y qué pasa con todo eso que tiene la cámara off? Okay, so remember, they will check the classes. A veces entran directamente a la clase, a veces solo ven la grabación. Entonces, al final, los que se afectan, pues son ustedes, porque remember que los que están recibiendo el programa, pues son ustedes, right? Así que, 
let's be careful. Try to make a big effort, ¿ok? Así que yo sé que es Monday y es difícil arrancar la semana. Así que, but let's try. We can do it. But well. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in my case, it, uh, my, my area and my job is uh, shipping. Imagine. Um, so this is uh, the perfect for me, topic for you. For me, topic is easy, but the, the play is difficult for me the, for playing English. But. Uh -huh. For uh, Spanish, the uh, easy for me is uh, play, but and the English is uh, difficult. But uh, the topic for me is easy for me, but uh, logistics, uh, shipping, export, uh, everything right. uh, I work. Uh, the container, uh, receive warehouse, uh, um, inventory. Uh, That's great. Every day, uh, every day I, I doing the, the work. Exactly. Yes. So in this case, so what is Oscar needs to do? He just needs to memorize the vocabulary to be able to explain it in English, right? Yeah, Very good. In, in my uh, in warehouse, we receive the uh, approximately the uh, four hundred bucks for day. Wow. The, um, every day, every day the. Uh, with the system, scan the system, uh, mm -hmm. the packing, the uh, inventory. Ah, uh, all the process. The old topic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, with the Carlo Abrego, uh, I work. Ah, you work together, you're co yeah, Yes. Yeah. That's great, excellent. So listen everyone, maybe if your job is not related to the topic, but you never know when you will have to use that, okay? So just be ready. You never know when an opportunity can appear and we'll need people to be able to speak, to talk those vocabulary, and you will be the ones, okay? Now, we have three minutes. Let's complete the exam. <laughs> I have here, guys, some vocabulary. We have here the three different types of warehousing. So what will be the correct definition? What do you think? Let's start with holding warehouse. What is that? Number two, traditional warehouses whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Okay, so uh, she said that is the number two. What do you think, guys? Do you agree with her? I agree. Yes, yes I agree with them, with her. With her, are you sure? Her. Definitely agree. <laughs> okay. Distribution center, what do you think? What is that? Mm -hmm. Is the first one. Yes, in my opinion, is is that the first one? Okay, mm -hmm. can you read it, please? Distribution, teacher. Distribution center. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, this... sorry. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Like this, everybody. Do you yeah. agree? Okay, yeah. can you read the definition, please? It can be named a terminal or a short in center. The focus is only on receive, receiving, receiving? receiving or receiving or receiving. The focus is only on receiving and shipping and shipping activities with little to no to no storage. Ah, no storage. Are you sure that that's distribution center? There is no, docking center. Yes, no Cross docking center. The first one is cross docking center. Ah, so what is distribution center? The last one. Can you the read it, please? One. Traditional warehouse. Ooh, what no, is the, the, last one, the last one. Ah, it's. It serves larger regions mm -hmm. and goods are stored shorter time. 
most of it is used used use for picking use for picking and consolidate consolidation 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 orders all right so what is the characteristic look shorter, shorter. so shorter. while the ella usaba shorter period of time what? distribution Center. What is the characteristic of the cross docking? No time. No, no storage. storage. They are just a bridge. What is the characteristic of holding warehouse? Big building and short time. Short time? Long time. Long oh, term. Sorry, long time and big uh -huh. and large place. And they have a lot of space. So, be careful. Si este hubiese sido su examen, ¿lo hubieran pasado? Yes or no? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. So, I hope for tomorrow you still remember this information, okay? So, um, I know that... Yes, of course, teacher. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, please, if you don't remember the information, try to review it, okay? please now i know that you might be tired so i'm not i'm not going to ask you to stay today i will start asking you to stay tomorrow okay so by tomorrow i want everybody ready to participate got it yes got it pretty good I got it excellent okay everyone we don't have more time don't forget to continue working on the platform please and review the topics that we studied for today so you don't forget for tomorrow have a wonderful night see you tomorrow good night, good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. see you good night bye bye take care bye -bye. everyone